Wings of Haiti Flight School is a metaphor that helps the children dream, saw, and break the cycle of poverty. Magalie Theodore approached me uh, through Facebook and told me that she had a school in Ranquette in North Central Haiti and had been a functioning school with over 300 people, but after the earthquake, for a number of reasons, it just fell apart. Well, right now we have seven acres of land, and uh, within that seven acres of land, we had a school and a soccer field, a baseball field, cafeteria, and a library. After the earthquake, the area became deserted. Her family was from Ranquette and designated the seven acres that we'll be using for the sole purposes of education for the community. The first school is in Quare Bouquet. We were able to feed the children, give them medical attention, and these are truly impoverished, destitute kids. I met Jonathan playing tennis, and he told me very briefly about his work in Haiti and that he had started a school, and I was pretty amazed. This is a fully functioning, run by Haitian school, which is a pretty amazing feat. Artist Jonathan Glynn of Sag Harbor founded that school. It was January 2010. Glynn was flying to Florida in his private plane when he heard Haiti had been struck by an earthquake. He, he did a pretty good job on the other school in Port-au-Prince. And he think by being in Port-au-Prince was uh, a huge challenge. The situation in Ranquette is different. This is an opportunity where we have land, we have the children and the families are being fed, and we can plug this in and give opportunities of a lifetime. That gives us a big jump, big jump compared to it what we did previously in Quade Bouquet. By giving them education, which is really every right, every child should have that, it's opening up the doors, it's opening up their future there, and it allows them to dream about, about something better and, and brighter. Last year we went to visit, most of the stuff went into destruction. The land is just sitting there, and that's why we want to go back and rebuild. This is a gift. Jonathan was given a gift with this, with a big shiny bow around, <laughs> wrapped around it. There's not only all this land, it's in a village that has some functionality in terms of resources. It's an agricultural village, so they have farming, they have food, but the school is dilapidated. The children there essentially work for their families on their farms. They work all day and uh, they don't have time to dream. And in a way it's sort of a slavery, it's a child labor. They don't really have the opportunity to play or to learn. Although they get to eat, which is a big thing in Haiti. The mentality is when you have children, the children are here to help parents. By modernizing the way the parents do farming, they will require less children to help them. And that will free up the children's time to concentrate on schooling, activities, sports, and other stuff that regular children do. A child with a blighted future is truly one of the, the greatest sins of this, of, of this planet. These kids need an opportunity to dream. And when they dream, they will have a future. My father always said, don't think you are special, you just happen to be fortunate and you should come back and help. So this is, we'll call it the flight school. It's a fun way to say that giving kids an opportunity to soar, to dream, and to break the cycle of poverty that is in Ranquette. We want to embrace them, give them hope, and uh, take them to the next level. And we'll